today we are back in conquest of Azeroth and we will be leveling the oldest class hey guys so today's winner of our giveaway is Tremain4351 as he said it's hard to decide which class to start with on Koa with a review video highlighting a class my choice changes so now we'll have a chance to test it yourself bro uh the book will go to slamo on a loon and we're gonna send it right away so guys don't forget to like and subscribe and leave the, uh, a comment with your ign on a loon to have a chance to win another copy of conquest of azeroth decided to try out some new class that i still didn't even ding like level 50 so we've got cultists today we will be trying out godblay uh, for now but later down the line i want to try out uh, the tanking spec as well uh, we're gonna uh, from what i've seen the mana storms uh, are giving like garbage xp at the moment so we're gonna work our way through rdf today as much as possible i have an aura and potions of xp so this should be pretty quick i think let's grab all those quests from ascension we're actually level uh, 11 already because i did start uh, trying i was trying it out uh, previously for a little bit but yeah, level 10 is nothing, let's face it. The cultists is pretty fun. I mean, they have like one of the most unique resources. And uh, like, like we have insanity. We can kill ourselves if we actually generate too much. And we actually got spells that generate insanity. And uh, make some spells stronger, which actually drain that insanity to not get ourselves crazy. Man, I'm not quite sure if you do guys hear it exactly. But some of the spell effects are freaking obnoxiously loud. And I can hear, hear like other people using spells. There was definitely, this was definitely the case for Blademaster. Uh, I mean, the uh, Crusader. Where the Bladestorm could be heard from like other side of the battleground and stuff like that. Pretty crazy shit, to be honest. Uh, let me check. I've got tendrils in here. Blue ones, not really mixture of the two not so much maybe the fire ones we are mo more like a shadow uh, class but yeah for the moment it is what it is i like to have everything shown up in here throw one not needed cultist i don't have eldritch blood ah those are the caster stuff caster things actually in tropic slam let me remind myself a little bit we've got a buff that uh, restores our mana We've got Entropic Slam. Oh, this actually drains insanity. And Abyssal Strike is like our spammable. That restores mana and generates one Void Rune. Damage and healing increased by 1% for Gaze of Seethun. But for the moment, I think I don't have... Oh, Blade of the Empire actually uses the, the Void Runes. This uses insanity. This also drains insanity. So there's like a lot of things that... Uh, synergize with each other and has to be used to fight properly man i really like like the animation of this look at this this eldritch something it's like a wave of shadows going towards the enemy oh it's actually five yard range it's literally like nothing but sometimes it can be enough to reach a target or not an eye of Sithun. <laughs> i did spell it wrongly I think uh, the tanking spec is one-hander and shield. That's what does the picture shows. It's a shame I always love the two-handed tanks, but yeah, there's plenty of classes to choose from. Although, yeah, Altus does really look promising for me, both thematically and playstyle. I mean, there was never, like, true shadow melee when it comes down to World of Warcraft. We had a uh, Saddled Rogue which was kind of uh, that type of thing. But well, let's face it, it was more of an assassin type than a typical warrior or something. Wait a second, because those freaking sound effects are really obnoxiously loud. Let's turn it down a little bit. Okay, this seems to be a little bit better. Oh, did you see those spikes coming out? This smashes up to eight enemies. It's an AoE, so I'm going to put it in here. I always love to have, like, same type of spells on the same keybinds. For example, uh, like a spammable AoE, I always try to put on my V key. Uh, my interrupts go onto the 
Oh my god, I don't know how it is named, but you know, that key left to your number one on the keyboard. <laughs> I don't know the name for now. Sorry, bros. Okay, just need one more spider in here. And we should be good to go with this quest. Yeah, I need two more outside of the cave, but that's not a problem. There's plenty of them. Finish him off with the Eye of Cthulhu. Oh, we have a spell to actually drain the insanity. Not only through spells. It's interesting because the Eye of Cthulhu does use the insanity, but it doesn't drain it. The Entropic Slam does actually, so... Eldritch Mending is my standard heal. Okay, let's drop the Samuel's Remain here. We buried him once again. And we should get plenty of levels through this. And there we have it. Level 13. Oh, we forgot about the talents from previous levels. Um, Tentacle of Yashari. Summon Tentacle. For 15 seconds, it uses slam attacks to deal physical damage up to 8 enemies in a 10 yard frontal cone when it spawns and whatever gaze of Thune is used. Holy shit. Yeah, a warrior with tentacles. I'll take it. And we can also pick up a dot. Tentacle of Yashari. <laughs> Yashari? Tentacle of Thune? Holy shit. So many tentacles. Or oh, tentacle of an Azoth. And into the abyss. There's other tentacle? Not really. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, bro. Damage of Entropic Slam which is cooldown of Abyssal Strike by one second and Entropic Slam by four seconds. Wait a second. Abyssal Strike? Which one is that? Oh, so that, like literally removes the cooldown. And then Tropic Slam as well. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. It seems that we're gonna have plenty of AoE damage. So that's good. Holy moly. I know I'm gonna put it on R for the moment. Like, on R I usually like to put some kind of powerful spells. Gaze of Cthulhu now deals additional 60 shadow damage over 9 seconds. Melee critical strikes refresh this effect. Very good shit. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, we're gonna spam this ability like crazy. So let's take it for now. Okay, now we need to dispose of those freaking crusaders. And we should be good to go. Yeah, level 15 after finishing the initial zone is pretty good. Then we can jump in straight into the dungeon finder and slap some faces. Uh, for the moment, I want to fool around a little bit with a two handed uh, melee spec DPS, but then I want to check out the tank. Many people are actually asking for some tank gameplay. And yeah, the cultist one looks really, really dope. So, we're gonna see what it, what it turns into. Oh uh, yeah, I wanted to check out the tentacle. Oh my god, it looks dope and deals quite a lot of damage. Okay, so it deals auto attacks, but it also uses the frontal cone attack when it spawns and whenever Gaze of Cthulhu is used. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's pop the loot bot so it will automatically gather the loot. Yeah, but Bane of the Empire is so freaking... I love those names, man. They fit all those classes so freaking good. It's just awesome. I can spawn... Holy shit, it spawns next to me. Uh, this shit is also good in single target, so I'm gonna bring it back up to four. Let's summon the tentacle. The film sheet. AoE, bang bang. So if I do have void runes, I can just spam Blade of the Empire, back up some insanity, and then shoot the Cthulhu. Oh, he also heals. It's pretty dope. Although the heal is pretty bad. So it's probably a waste of insanity. Yeah, the whole class fantasies. Holy shit, so good. I really, really love it because they're not like some freshly came up ideas. Interrupt an enemy. Okay, let's put it here. But those are really thought out. I mean, it did took quite a long time to get the classes uh, ready. But yeah, it's still pretty good. I do think they actually took away the caches from the quests. We don't need scrolls anymore, so I guess they are pretty useless. So good call. Now I just hope that the open world will be, let's say, not more difficult. Because that's not what we are striving for. Yeah, but maybe Meaningful is a good world, actually. And, you know, that we get more of a, like, classic experience. You know, maybe scale up mobs a little bit or tune down, like, uh, the character numbers.
but it would be really really good for some open world enjoyment hey there we go uh maybe i'm still gonna go to brill oh no i don't have the money to actually buy the riding so far so that doesn't matter i guess oh, more talents oh my god so many choices that's pretty much overwhelming parry chance increases damage dealt with two hand weapons by five percent entropic slam damage Oh, Nazoth Tentacle seems to be a little bit better. It has a slow and will attack up to three enemies. Yeah, pretty good shit. Okay, some buffs here and there, nothing crazy. Alright boys, so it's finally time to join some random random dungeons. Uh, Mana Storms, not, thank you. Let's find a group. I think it shouldn't take that long, but who knows. Previously, even as a DPS, uh, I was queuing pretty fast. Yeah, we only need a tank. Uh, okay, never mind. Let's switch up the tanking spec. We're gonna get Entropic Slam for some AUE. Mm, this can get in handy. And Tentacle of Nazoth should be great as well. Here we have increased regeneration by 600% and block value by 15% but reduced damage dealt by 20%. Which is Hell of Yushari and Test of Pride. Haunts the enemy and devote yourself to Yushari allowing Blade of the Empire to cleave two targets and increasing block rating by 50% strength. Okay, pretty good. Block and parry rating by 10% of your intellect. What the hell is this? We're using strength, right? Yeah. Twilight Shield Toss. Hurl a cursed shield dealing 90 chance to up to three enemies and taunting them for two seconds. Yeah, seems pretty good. But, uh, I need the shield then. Wait a second, I do have some one-hander. Yeah, probably this one would be the greatest. Oh, I do have some shield, so not a problem. Pretty good. And let's go. Yeah, instant Q. <laughs> Scarlet Monastery. Wait a second, which one was cleaving? Blade of the Empire. Okay, this one. Oh, I can just drop it like that. That makes sense. And Tropic Slam is an AoE, so it's always good to use it. Nice, because I can start slapping them straight up. Big Entropic Slam. Oh, and I've got the Shield Toss as well. Okay, I have absolutely no idea about my survivability, so I'm not gonna go any... Uh, not gonna do any crazy shits just yet. But who knows, maybe I can just tank them like that and carry on. Just taunt him. Okay, some AoE to keep everything ready. And I think we can start fighting. Yeah, this shit seems to be pretty efficient so far. Satiate. Look at this, I'm already level 18. RDFXP is the way to go now. It's so good actually because, man, sitting in those freaking mana storms was so annoying already. At least you have uh, some kind of variety now. Can I summon, like, all tentacles? Uh, I think we're standing in some bad shit. Tentacles all over the place. Holy shit, this is so good. Yikes. Too many, I think. <laughs> no, it's easy. Oh my god. Got slapped. <laughs> Should probably uh, get them back in. Uh, get them outside. Yeah, I think we still don't have any survivability talents, so we'll be a little bit more careful with this. I can't believe forgot that I can heal with Gaze of Cthulhu. But it literally does nothing on such a low level. Level 19, I don't know even when did we get those levels. Really crazy shit. So, okay, let's start this. They will come to us anyway. Okay, let's hide in here. Put, put down some stuff. So yeah, we pull with the shield. Uh, got, put down the tentacles. Then go for the one big entropic slam and just carry on with Blade of the Empire and Abyssal Strike, it seems. Yeah, like shield. Put down AoE. Tentacle, then the other one. Oh. I'm getting too much insanity. I wonder if we do have some, like, indicator that insanity is going crazy. Oh yeah, I got red. Satiate. That was some pretty good shit. Uh, I actually need a shield. Oh, there you have it. I need it. Yes, perfect. Uh, let's queue once again. Yeah, it was pretty great, to be honest. I mean, the levels go so fast. Okay, uh, let's... Go as a tank once more. Oh, no, 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 wait. I didn't just distribute my points. Completely forgot about it. Uh, take stamina and tropic slam damage. Oh, strikes up to four enemies. Gaze of Cthulhu. Yeah, this is going to be amazing. 
Quickly, quickly, reduce damage, take by 3% and your chance to be critically struck by 6%. It's probably the best way to go, so I don't get any crits. I don't know, let's take the quests as well. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Okay, I should do a little bit better this time. Pop this, Entropic Slam, and do some standard AoE now. Oh yeah, Gaze of Cthulhu is pretty nice now. I'm gonna leave those to slap them. Entropic, Shield, put down this guy, get the tentacles. We need more tentacles. Oh, that was pretty powerful. Oh, because I'm already sitting at quite a lot of sanity. Insanity. Kill him. Okay, this is going pretty nice. Oh, the Cthulhu shit. So good. I think somebody's constantly pulling those in. That's great, actually, tactic. It's no good. I don't have to uh, move my ass because they are const there's a constant flow of enemies. Okay, let's use the Sashable, Satable, Satiable. How do you spell it? Satiate? Or something like that. Oops. Need to be careful a little bit. The insanity seems to be stacking pretty damn fast. It makes you more powerful, but also can kill you very easily, so... <laughs> okay, let's hide once again in here. What the hell? Why am I CC'd? Throw this freaking shield, oh my god. I don't know if I have lags or something, but... Definitely some things don't want to work. And cooperate. I mean, it seems the bosses do have a little bit more HP than usually. But yeah, it's still not a big challenge at all. Okay, nice. I do have four heirloom sets, so I don't need those. Art of Zeal. Teleport out of dungeon. And teleport once more. Where's the freaking ball? I swear to god, somebody did have a ball in here. Never mind. Uh, teleport out of dungeon. Okay, we're done with this. Let's go to Orgrimmar first. Doomcloak. A very short cooldown defensive, I take it. A big AoE tentacle. Mmm, parry chance, probably. I don't seem to have that much problem with AoE damage, so... No thank you. The Wailing Caverns, Resolve and Prowl. Let's take those, why not? Put my Potion of Experience and we can carry on with the dungeons. Now it's actually pretty good to have that freaking ball with quests. Oh my god, I don't know. We're gonna take all of those. Maybe one day or at some point. Uh, we will actually get them completed. One more, please, wait. Thank you. One thing that bothers me so far is that we basically don't... Oh my god, everybody has a ball. <laughs> so yeah, um, one thing that bothers me is that so far we don't have any mobility spells. Never mind, just stormed him and we're going forward. Okay, let's throw some shield, AoE tentacle, the slam, a boon for another slam. I've got my defensive, so why not use it? It's only 15 second cooldown, so it's great, actually. Nice, it's going very nicely. There's the ra Razor Lash part. I didn't even notice while playing Season uh, 9, because nobody, like, is doing RDFs for leveling anymore. Uh, but yeah, they actually scaled everything to all levels, and... They actually split all those big, in big instances, so it's pretty good. I mean, I know there are plenty of classes to be tested, but let's face it. It's not like, uh, if we leave the XP's as it is, people are going to have, like, uh, all classes uh, on alts within, like, month or two, depending on how much you play. And if the leveling would be at slower pace, and do some more impactful, like, progression within it as well, then it would be freaking awesome. I would love it, to be honest. I know that there are, like, challenges within Ascension WoW, but, you know, if it's optional, not many people actually decide to go for it. And the original Classic World was actually so fun. I'm not, like, saying, for example, to put instances uh, to a state where you have to use a uh, hard CC, or bosses or things like that. Enough for bosses for trash packs and things like that. The mythic plus is to actually get to that point. But you know, if we would have to, if we would have to, to at least, uh, for example, uh, watch out for some bigger pulls, deal a little bit more damage than usually. I've oh, got a shield, nice. 
There are actually many simple uh, ways to make it more meaningful. The open world leveling and, you know, usual. Usual leveling. But yeah, if you've got some talents pending... Okay, let's get one more tentacle. Your next blade of empire strikes up to eight enemies and despoils the ground beneath your target, reducing the attack power and shadow resistance to enemies. Scales with stamina and increases regeneration by 30%. Pretty good, but I already have so many uh, spells to use that it would be really hard to put it somewhere. It's like a quick buff. Wave of doubt. This looks pretty interesting. Holy fuck. It, with the shot animation, it looks so freaking cool. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. Another round. Let's go. The Qs for tanks are instant, so it's going pretty fast. Holy shit, it's the same wing once again? No, it's not. We ready, bros? Okay, we are. Oh my god, the stun is so freaking long. Jesus Christ. It's crazy, bro. Bang. Love this spell. So much happening, oh my god, and I have... So many spells to use already. I think it's kind of bloated. I've got Eldritch Smite, completely forgot about it. I think I need to pick a trinket because it's freaking annoying. They stun so much. Okay, let's pop some defensives just in case. Holy shit. <laughs> I was just talking about some meaningful, prog <laughs> not progression, but meaningful dungeons and stuff like that. And there we have it. I got one shotted. <laughs> Such a shame I don't have any defensives. I mean, uh, mobility. Not defensives, I do have one. Which didn't help that much. Especially that it was uh, two fireballs, yeah. And this is supposed to... Well, active. Magic damage taken is reduced by 50%. So that will mean that they hit me for 400. Each one of them. Crazy shit. Okay, I have to say I start to feel some of those guys. Did they actually change something? Man, but the visuals of the cultist are so freaking good. Holy moly. Those fireballs freaking hurt. Oh my god. The healer needs mana. Do you need mana, bro? Nah. Okay, then. Freaking fireballs. Oh my god. Come on, interrupt this guy, please. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, somebody is giving us the speed buff. Very nice of him. Bang. Love this field. Yeah, Turtle War was very interesting when it comes to worldwide, worldwise. Unfortunately, I feel like new classes are more interesting than the content in itself. Although, yeah, more custom content would increase the longevity as well. Because, yeah, like I said before, that's what I think at least. Uh, people are going to level up those olds, play around a little bit, and they will scream for more content. Inshatable, satable. Oh my god, I don't know how to spell this freaking name. The tank, look at this visuals. Holy shit. All those tentacles all over the place. Oh, I almost dead. Can I leave through this? I can leave for good that I have a racial silence. Okay, you can die already. Thank you very much. Oh my god, so many talents unlocked now. <laughs> so many choices. Uh, Gaze of Cthulhu and Entropic Slam that generates a Void Druin. Pretty good, because then I can basically delete Abyssal Strike. Gaze of Cthulhu, I don't seem to have any mana problems, so fuck it. Abyssal Ward. On an ally for 10 seconds, the next 3 attacks against them will deal 70% reduced damage and force the attacker to flee in fear. Holy shit. Pretty good, but mostly for PvP, I would say. Book of the Old Gods. Horrible and Abyssal Strike grants your stack of Book of the Old Gods, increasing your haste. That could be pretty good, but let's see. Reduce magic damage taken by half percent, increase armor contribution from items. This is a tanking thing. <laughs> yeah, that's also a choice that can be taken. Mm, tentacle of Ishari, it's this one. Block value by 20%. Okay, it seems that I can still die, so I'm gonna take all the defensives. Okay, Earth Song falls, pretty nice. 26% block, pretty good. Man, I didn't tank for such a long time. I like, the last time I tanked was when uh, the Season 9 released and I was fooling around with some fresh builds. I did like make two episodes, I think, about tanking back then. Oh, Omaya, actually, it's good that I see you. Uh, do you have some time to play, like, during, uh, during time when I stream, so usually around 22, around 10 p.m., let's say. <laughs> because I wanted to make a group 
that we could do the darkest dungeon challenge with new classes from next week. Yeah, that's perfect because I'm going for a short vacation uh, during the weekend and probably will be back uh, Tuesday. Ah, okay. That would be ni nice. Okay, so you said that you love to play as DPS, so we've got one. I can tank with some class. Uh, probably Dart would go as well, but I didn't see him today yet. So we would need like two people, probably one more DPS and uh, some healer preferably. So if somebody is up for the challenge guys, be sure to leave a comment or PM me on Discord or whatever. Oh, there you are. You are lurking behind the scenes basically. <laughs> yeah, but if you've heard Dart, I would love to actually tackle the Darkest Dungeon during leveling. Seems very cool way of leveling. Man, I did see that the Star Callers did plenty of damage. The burst was pretty insane, but they were kinda pretty weak when it comes down to defensives. At least it seems so. <laughs> seems nice. Um, nothing really that crazy. Uh, wait a second. I'm gonna check what are the rewards. Stony Tark is just right here. Where is it? Nightmare the Darkest Dungeon. Some kind of purple slime skeleton. And that's it. <laughs> uh, nothing really that fancy, but yeah, it's cool. Look at this. You have to kill, like, every boss. Starting from Edwin one, 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 Oh my god, sorry. Van Cleef. From level 21. I could aura XP for this, no problem. So, Dart, would you be up for the challenge as well? Yeah, probably. But, you know, even if we don't make it, it's just something fun to do. Yeah, then probably uh, Primalist or Guardian, because Guardians can soak more damage and we will have a healer eventually, so maybe that's actually the best way to go. Yeah, I think that damage reductions are most important in this challenge. Oh my god, wait a second. Find a group. There you are. Yeah, it could be great. I need to get your uh, Discord guy, uh, guys. This would allow us to communicate a little bit easier, not only on streams and... Um, in-game. Depends if actually the healers... Uh, wait a second. Which way now? I think this one, right? Actually depends if the support class can provide with some very nice damage reductions. I think that in Koa I could even play a healer because there's like two or three that actually uh, heal by dealing damage. I know that definitely the Primalist is one of those. Holy shit, it's not this... It's not this way. Yeah, yeah, it's like a pure tank. I mean, the group can still be gathered along the way. I mean, considered after we actually have players. No, it's again not this way. <laughs> oh my god. I'm completely lost with that map. I think that bosses will not be that hard because you're literally hitting one person. But trash can also be uh, nullified by, for example, uh, a lot of CC. There are plenty of classes with strong AoE CC. Dar, but let me know what you think. Would you be interested in tackling such challenge or not really? Hey, Mr. Mur Murky Satan or... <laughs> Sorry for that, I don't know how to spell this. How to read it even. Not saying anything about spelling. Yeah, sure thing. Find me on Discord as Venario in Koa or Standard Ascension. So, like I said, guys, if anybody would be interested in tackling the Darkest Dungeons challenge, uh, let me know in the comment section or on Discord in private message. I actually did leave the uh, the thread on Conquest of Azeroth forums. Really? Wasn't it supposed to be like 27th or something? Oh no, it's 22, right, correct. What you will be trying out first in PvE. So guys, we can complete the Darkest Dungeons and then uh, farm ZG with that group. Fucking long is this? Too long. Yeah, gear from dungeons is pretty easy, easily obtainable. You still can decide on one class and uh, over the weekend just farm what you need up to like I level 60 or something. Uh, this way? I think so. Yep, that was a good call. A very deadly massive AOE room. Holy fuck. The fears will be annoying. No, also the loot just completely screws my interface. Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I was just summoning it constantly. 
what should I play next? Man, there's plenty of choices. Maybe even too many. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Out of the random cage from Atal Hakar, I got level 60 death bone spoilers. How crazy is this? Yeah, sometimes it still happens. Uh, the storm that's happening around is definitely not helping as well. Okay, just kite those idiots. No, it's radio, actually. <laughs> it's usually pretty good, or it was pretty good until uh, some time ago. I had pretty good connection overall, with, uh, with some drop-offs from time to time, but nothing really that terrible. Wait a minute. I didn't pick the head from the guy. There we go. Alright, let's go for the big dragons. Let's pop some defensive, just in case. Man, they fucking hit hard, oh my god. What did exactly happen? I almost lost, like, most of my HP. So many items, Jesus Christ. Okay, um, this way, I think. Yeah, everybody's going that way, so... Can we get some movement speed buff, please? Can somebody click the freaking mushroom? Please? Flipping, please? <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> If they almost killed me uh, now, then it would be pretty terrible then. But yeah, let's face it, currently everything is just being face rolled, so... There is some magic damage going on, but it's nothing really that crazy. So it's kind of strange. Man, the final boss is pretty tough, to be honest. At least he has some HP. Oh, it's a stun. And you're going down, big bad boy. Go, to, go back to sleep, Mr. Eranicus. Okay, that was pretty long. But pretty cool as well. I don't need this quest. Oh, a restart in 30 minutes. All the rock value PvP items added with adjusted pricing. Pretty strange. Yeah, because there was like uh, pieces that costed like uh, 5,000 honor. And there were like, for example, braces. Of course, with higher item level, but not that big difference. It was like for 45k and uh, the other things with like 60, were costing like 68k. Pretty big difference. Umbral Voyage. Select a location on the ground to teleport to. After teleporting up to five enemies within eight yards of you are instantly removed from stealth and horrified for three seconds, taking 50% bonus damage for duration. Very interesting, but do I really need it for a tank? Void Shield. Oh, this is some pretty good shit. Yeah, Abyssal Ward. Let's take those defensives quickly. Okay, this is cool. So, Abyssal Ward is pretty heavy. This is only 20 second cooldowns. 50, 20. <laughs> nice. Another shield, another shield. Horrifying presence. Who would need some buffs to the rat at the moment? Armageddon. I need to have it. Okay, fuck this shit. I'm gonna go for that. <laughs> I see something cool on the screen. I go for it. Um, Where can I put it? Oh yeah, I know. I'm gonna put the tentacles on A and D. And I'm gonna put Armageddon in here. Okay, give me some new shield, please. Useless, useless, useless. No shields whatsoever. What the hell is this? Oh my god, I completely took the wrong option and went for the BG. Uh, not not on this one, not today. Let's go for tank. Nice looking shield that heals for some crazy amounts. <laughs> Abyssal ward. Oh my god, please no. <laughs> Same dungeon once again. At least I think that this time I know to go straight up right. Wait a second, I messed up with my... Okay, now it's fine. Armageddon. Yeah, it looks pretty damn cool, but I don't know if it's any good. <laughs> Not quite sure. Oh, it also restores health, so it's pretty good. Now I remember. Oh shit, I can move during that attack. I didn't know. Then Armageddon's pretty good, I have to say. I think that the next class I will actually try out is the Venomancer. They look so freaking cool with all those forms. It's crazy, bro. And they are another highly versatile class. So it's pretty damn good. Oh, finally the boss. Hellfire. Nice. The boss itself dies within seconds. It's so freaking easy to AoE now. It's amazing. I just throw shield and can almost immediately go for the Armageddon to destroy it. This looks so freaking damn cool. Especially if you pair it up with this. Oh shit. I thought it's going one by one, but it seems not. If you're under heavy AoE, 
This can actually drain so much health. It's crazy. Yikes. I popped literally all defensives. Or oh, Armageddon will be good in here. Man, those big badass pulls are what we are living for, right? Yeah, nice healing. The more targets we actually hit, the more healed we get. Okay, let's go for those idiots now. I feel like we actually have too much health now. Uh, health, oh my god, too many buttons to press. We've got tentacles to keep up, all the cooldowns. Holy... 3000? Ah, okay. <laughs> actually, Sheka has been... Uh, has been uh, turned hostile against it. <laughs> and I was slapped with a 3k crit from him. <laughs> Like a PvP <coughs> with a, within a dungeon. Pretty nice. Oh, he backed out. Nice slap. Thanks. I got it. 3k. Bye. Hey, RDK. How you doing, man? Yeah, I just started with the cultist. Wanted to try it out. Uh, wait a second. We just now need to kill the dragons, right? Holy shit. They literally, like, aggroed from kilometers away. Holy moly, so many. Shit, that was not intended. <laughs> the guys are still standing and looking over the loot, so no worries. Take your time, boys, take your time. Wait a second, I'm almost dead. With no reliable uh, source of healing. Wait a second. Which way was it? Now I don't remember. Uh, holy shit, this one. Yeah, there are the dragons. Home to Papa. Bang, bang, bang. Armageddon. This is so nice. Nice, we have a speed buff now. Armageddon. Armageddon was interrupted. I constantly feel that the shield I'm throwing is also silencing my enemies like the Paladin one did. But it doesn't. But I guess the habits are something you cannot get over. It's over so easily. No, it was not Russian, man. <laughs> it was Dwar Dwarven. Dwarven. How many bears per kill? You greedy bastards. Yeah, that was on purpose. I was just fooling around. Holy shit, I clicked agility. <laughs> no worries. Uh, loot him, maybe. Oh, I've thrown away the quest item. Never mind. I've got so many shitty items from those dungeons, but I have absolutely no idea which and where I should turn it in, so just gonna ignore it for now. <laughs> Increase the damage absorbed by Void Shield by 20%. I mean, 300 damage is not really that big number. Du -du 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 -du. Yeah, this is the tank version. It's pretty cool, to be honest, but uh, I seem... I always loved to have some healing on tanks to be some self-sufficient. But it seems that Cultist doesn't really have it that much. Except for the Armageddon, of course. Oh, the final hour, this is so good. Armageddon also reduces damage taken by 30%. It's great. Yeah, I love Primalist class. Oh my god. It has a lot of self-healing. Yeah, and healing spec on Primalist is also very cool because you're freaking fighting hand-to-hand -hand right in the face of danger. So, pretty cool concept. Always loved something like that. On retail, we only had like Disciplined Priest that was able to deal damage and heal. Yeah, that's true. I can see that many things that... Counters like magic stuff. Okay, let's do one more. We've got nine minutes. So, possibly we will be able to do one more dungeon. Unless we get into the freaking temple of Atal Hakkar once again. I remember that in retail, uh, when you went for RDF already, during leveling, like Atal Hakkar and uh, the Blackrock Mountain dungeon that pop up every time. The Blackrock Mountain was actually pretty cool because you had to kill the interrogator guest Tan or something like that. And he was pretty close by so you could farm it. DPS does not want to get into the dungeon group? Is he freaking mad? What is he thinking, this guy? Never mind, we're a tank so we have instant Q anyway. Okay, resolve and crawl. Not so bad. We're gonna go for the big fast balls. Uh, what is this? I don't know, big fat balls. Me, not that type of tank. Okay, we're gonna do this dungeon constantly being on the move. <laughs> it will be pretty fun. Or it should be, at least. Okay, let's recover some mana. Armageddon! 
Okay, let's leave the tentacles behind me so they can finish off the, any wanderers that they that was left over there. Another Armageddon! This spell is so freaking nice, I love it. So, well, now with Armageddon, we actually do have... Uh, we do have some healing now, which is pretty damn cool. Yikes! Pulled everyone! Oh, big, fat, juicy. Nice! <laughs> it's actually pretty cool to be going fast like that. Okay, let's pop some defensives. Gonna leave some tentacles. Let him finish him. Nice! Resolve and Crawl is being a very fast dungeon if you do it this way. <laughs> but I already say that I love Armageddon. And let's go! Charge La Razor Flank and she's dead. See ya. Pretty good. Restart in two minutes. Oh, I got no shield, finally. With a horde mark. Man, the shields are so small on the freaking blood oath. <laughs> I picked the wrong race for this one. Eventually, I will have to actually try the Guardian. I think they are quite powerful in PvP. Oh, Sanity Shield. Reduces all damage taken by 1% for each stack of insanity you have. When used for 8 seconds while active, you lose 5 insanity every 2 seconds. Pretty damn cool. Uh, parry chance by 5% and block value by 50%. Nice. How much do I actually have? 30% block, 40% parry, 3% dodge. Okay, nice. Uh, so, we will have a quick restart. Very s oh, I have a quest to turn in. Adventures in Resolve and Crawl. That should give me a level up, I think. Yeah, it did. Very cool. Oh my god, Void Tendrils. So good. Even more AoE stuff. Hey guys, the restart's going to happen. I'm going to go uh, snatch some drink from downstairs. So i see you guys in a second. Okay, I'm back. Server's up. So let's get back in. I'm a tank and I still have to wait for the two DPSs. This is really not normal. Oh, maybe my shield actually got fixed. Of course not. Damn it. All demand, but we only have to kill Iron Eye. So it should be no problemo. And big AoE. This is so freaking nice. I love it. Throw some shield. Spikes. I, I can put down the tentacle. But really no need. On to Papa. And get armageddon if that's even a word. Revelosh. Okay. Let's flip and do it, boys. Let's destroy this bas bastard. Uh, holy shit. There are some trespassers at our back lines. Wait a second. Now the question is whether we have to collect the stuff. Because if we do... No, I think the requirement has been taken down. Which, in the end, is very good. It just slows down. Did we already open? Did somebody did even start opening this? Okay, we've got her. Big AoE. Don't smack me like that, you little BB. Okay, that was pretty quick. Nice. Let's just destroy this. New shield, maybe? But a new gun. Attack power now. I prefer stamina, probably. What the hell? All did not port over properly. Come on. Five minutes. Let's go quickly. Maybe we will maybe able to get it over get it done oh yeah scarlet monastery pretty good let's go boys no slacking what is this lag oh no 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 my internet is not coping actually we're going for the big pool or maybe not with such big lags nice it's going pretty well there are a lot of bends and turns and stuff like that, so it's easier to actually keep them like that. And another big massive pull, nice. Carry on to another one. Okay, we're almost there, boys. Just a couple seconds more. Holy shit, I don't have mana. Let's go. No, in the deepest dungeon, you have to go everywhere by foot. That's a big drawback, actually. Nice, that was a very nice group. You have to go everywhere by foot, unfortunately. Hey guys, but we reached level 40 actually. Grants a 10% chance to afflict attacks with waven, wavering pride. Attack power reduce. Oh, magic damage taken reduction. I take it. Duration of tentacles. Yeah, this is going to be good. Hey guys, but you know, it's already quite late. And there are rest restarts constantly. We got to level 40, so I'm going to finish for today. Thank you for joining in. 
And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good night. And take care, guys.